As Russian troops face unanticipated setbacks and losses in Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin is waving his biggest sword, putting his nuclear weapons on high alert. As Russian troops push ahead with their massive assault against Ukraine's major cities, breaking into Kharkiv before being repelled, destroying an oil depot near Kiev and attacking the city with more airstrikes overnight. In Kiev this morning, we saw the aftermath of what Ukrainian soldiers tell us was a Russian assault they managed to stop. This truck was clearly carrying a lot of ammunition. All around here, there are thousands and thousands of burned out bullets. So this went up with an enormous bang. Ukrainian troops are surprising the world with their resistance and resilience. Ukrainians lining up for food remain in good spirits. We are okay. Um, we are calm and we have a lot of resolve. Ukrainian troops have managed to slow down the advance of one of the most powerful armies in the world. Putin's blitz isn't going to plan. Ukrainian troops claim to have blown up more than 700 Russian armored vehicles, around 150 tanks, and dozens of helicopters and aircraft. And they say they've killed around 5,000 Russian troops, while 300 Ukrainian civilians have been killed. The government hasn't released information about military losses. Ukraine's President Zelensky, who's been speaking several times a day to keep his people united and show he's still in control, this morning said, we stand firm. We have survived more than others have withstood in decades. Speaking in Russian, he called on Russian troops to drop their weapons and leave. Russia is advancing along three lines of attack, from the north to Kiev, the east to Kharkiv, and from the south to Mariupol. Three routes that need resupply, and Russian logistics appear to be failing. Russian armored vehicles have been running out of gas, some stopping dead in their tracks by the roadside. A Ukrainian pulled up to one, recording. Did you break down, he asked Russian soldiers. No diesel, one replies. I can only tow you back to Moscow, the Ukrainian responds. But Putin still has a lot of military might to throw at Ukraine, with one-third of Russia's troops surrounding the country yet to be sent into battle. And outside of Kiev now is this menacing Russian convoy, a mile long, in striking distance of the city. Ukrainians here are keeping a fighting spirit, and they say they are tremendously encouraged by all the support and solidarity that they are seeing around the world. Savannah. All right, Richard Engel in Kiev for us. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.